Tada! A very warm welcome, Karibu, back to Y254 TV. We had taken a tiny, small, little break, but we are back with another conversation still on Spot on Tech with Tommy Lee, who is the coordinator at Takataka Solutions. Karibu sana. Asante sana. So, um, let's just start from that point here. Konza, you have an interesting name. <laughs> people, <laughs> people say that it came out when there was the Men in Black movie and there was oh. this Tommy Lee Jones. So everywhere I went, they used to say, are you Tommy Lee Jones? And I, no. But I was wondering where yeah, I had that I, Yeah, name. It's, it's that from that movie. <laughs> so I was okay. Yeah. At least I was like, I was like, I So... <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, what do you do? What does Takataka Taka do? Okay, first of all, I'm not really coordinating Takataka. Taka. Mm -hmm. We are partnering with Takataka. Taka. Okay. I'm coordinating Vosh Church, which like I'm coming up as the youth leader. And we are working together to create awareness on plastic waste management. Mm -hmm. So we see a lot of that really. Uh, when you, it's like once you start seeing it, it becomes a reality. Mm -hmm. Growing up, like, Kenya to Mazai, like you just grow up and you and end a shule, you end a job. But when you start really seeing that Kunatu and Atupa plastic everywhere, then you start seeing the people throwing bottles, kwagari, wrappers, inje, nini. And I used to think, what can we do about this? And I thought I was too small to do anything because you need like a lot of money, you need a lot of uh, donors, what to akuje, you know, you help clean the country. Mm -hmm. So we said, let's just start from where we can, from our background, from our backyard. So we started from the church, because uh, we had like a youth uh, group. So to Kanza to collect plastic waste. And then it continued until we started partnering with a few more people from other churches. And then we partnered with New Life Mission, and then we partnered with Taka Taka. And so all we do right now is really create the awareness of plastic waste management. And we also collect from households. Those who need collections, we are able to go to their homes and collect. But we are piloting only in Kisumu at the moment. So let me, let me just get this um, clearly. Mm -hmm. This is a garbage. Yeah. Or, or it's <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can put it garbage Forgive collection. Forgive me for thinking like that. <laughs> it, is, it, is, it is a garbage collection. Go ahead, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me for thinking like that. We are but dirty I'm, people. But I'm just yeah. thinking. No, is this a garbage collection yeah. company or it's just plastic collection? I don't know what to call it. No, okay, yeah. Okay, so to get the idea, mm -hmm. take garbage collection, alafu equal sorted from the house. That's mm -hmm. our, our vision that if Kenyans want to sort garbage from the house, then for us, we are only collecting plastic. We don't do the organic waste. Why? Because a lot of people are already, you know, re using organic waste. Um, people at home use it to feed the animals. Kama ukona dogi or a cat, if any food in mebaki you give them. Um, if you have like the, the peels and all that, people who have cows, goats, all that, they give them. Um, so unless you go tao, and then now you have no place to take it. But what we're doing is most urban dwellers have garbage collection. Mm. But we are focusing on low income areas. So where they can't afford to pay for your taka taka ku collectiva. So we're not focusing on um, organic waste because what we are low income areas, they just throw it outside. Now mm -hmm. it disintegrates and becomes basically manure or something. But plastic does not, it's inorganic. So it remains there. Then they burn it. Now, Akichoma, the, the smoke is really, really dangerous. Actually, I'm thinking there are people who died from plastic waste smoke, Wakafkiriani COVID. So <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's really, really dangerous to the lungs. And in the neighborhoods, the low income areas, they, they burn all the waste. When I katu, taka taka pamoja then what wana, maybe wana ishi 10, 20 people uh, wana share your dump, your home, then they just light it up, wana ban kila kitu. Mostly it's you fanya hivyo. In the villages, simbaya sana, because they still have space and trees and all that. But uki enda kwa urban areas, za low income uh, people, then inanza kukua a real problem, because now it's affecting the whole neighborhood. Oh, yeah. wow. Now I have gotten it clear. Now you've gotten it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. not garbage collection, but okay. we are we are we are we are probably working close with those who do garbage collection. 
Yeah. So, so um, once, let me just pick it from mm -hmm. that point here. You're working closely with, with those who do garbage collection. Yeah. Once they pick up garbage, mm -hmm. you people go sort it out. We can we do that in that's where we partner with Takataka. Taka. Now Takataka Taka doing garbage collection. They're collecting everything, even in Nairobi here. They're they're one of the largest companies doing that, and we actually thank God that they came to agree to to partner with us. So. For us, we just collect and then we take it to them, to Takataka. Taka. And we don't do the sorting uh, of organic and inorganic. We only collect plastic. That's what makes our uh, you know, move awareness campaign interesting. We go to homes, we talk to you, we say, okay, ukona plastics, ukona waste. Jaribu kuzi sort, eka plastic kando, eka zuzingine kando, we'll pick the plastic. So, so we're encouraging them to sort from home. Yeah. So once you pick the plastic, where mm -hmm. do you take them? Oh, we have, oh, good question. So this is how we've structured ourselves. We're using the church, okay? So we've come up with, uh, we call it a, a church hubs, which brings us to like tech and stuff. So it's not like a very high tech thing, but we, we call the churches hubs. So each church, any church, it doesn't have to be a church, anybody who wants to do this can become a hub anywhere in Kenya. So we just take gunias and then uh, people come together and then they collect from the households then in Ekakwa a specific church. Once it's in that specific church, we take it to a main hub. We have like a main church which has like a bigger space where we do the sorting of plastic. By the plastic itself being aqua sorted. So you sort it into various fractions like PET, HDPE, LDPE. Mwangia Greek. Okay, so I said, so what, in Ezra, what you sorted? No, 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 no. We, we will want to learn. We will yeah. want to know what those different yeah. fractions are. Yeah, so so what happens, Grace, is after after we've picked it from these main mini hubs, we call them mini hubs, can be a church, can be someone's home, like una place enye, mtu wa meamua, a make a space where people can collect plastic wapeleke apo, then we have a motorcycle guy who just goes and collects every week and then takes all this to the main hub where the sorting is done. Once it's sorted, we take it now to Takataka because Taka, they're the guys who now do the recycling and everything else. Amazing. Yeah. So I'm still taking you back to yeah. the f different types of plastic. Yeah. I'd want to know, and I'm sure someone else will. <laughs> I'm sure Val will want to know. <laughs> okay, yes. the shocking thing. Can you imagine e pepper baggy? Mm -hmm. uh, the Juala one, it's recycled. Actually, I had no idea until we got into the, the whole thing. Uki buy rice and that pack, it can be recycled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's not only like the bottles. When people say recycling, they think it's only the, the bottles. So the bottle, you clear in it to a pet. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it's the most common one, it's number one. Yeah, soda, I, maji. I, yeah, okay. it's recycled a lot. Um, in Nairobi, yeah. <laughs> okay, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you know yeah, yeah. Kind of class. <laughs> Sorry for cutting No, it's short. okay. okay. Uh, by recycling, what do you mean? Do you mean that each mm -hmm. I, I'm done with taking this soda, I have thrown it, you've picked it, you go wash it, rebrand re it, then bring it back? Put oh, another soda, yeah. <laughs> sell it back to me. <laughs> what do you mean by recycling? Oh, okay, in, in waste management, kuna, uh, kuna reduce, mm -hmm. kuna reuse, na recycle. So reduce is really reduce the, the production. Because like in Nairobi, to not produce over 200 tons of waste every day, 20% in plastic. So actually in 400 tons, 20% in plastic. In Kisumu, where we're doing this, uh, it's 300 tons per day of plastic. To get the idea, tan moja nigari, like premio. Ama, ama, mm -hmm. So imagine premios, 300 is a waste. Um, so um, when, when we come up with this, we first of all want people to reduce that. And after reducing it, una is a reuse. So reuse is what you're saying, ukona bottle, umeyosha, somebody is using it again. We've also encouraged people to do that. If you know people who can, can uh, reuse your plastic, you can connect with them and then wanna reuse to your chupa instead of throwing it. But recycling really is changing the whole structure okay. in a katwa mm -hmm. into small pellets and then in a, in a thing as a new product. Can be a bottle, can be a chair, can be a table, anything. Oh. Yeah. 
Thank you. Yeah. Now continue. Now continue. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so PET, I'm a pet, needs normal bottles. The soda, the, that I think is easily understood. Yeah. There's HDPE, high density. Easier way to ikumbuka ni tu ni pet heavy. High density polythene, I'm a high density HDPE, ni yenye inakanga, inaitwa kasuku. Ama yenye watu wana wakona cooking oil, ama yu wanganzito kidogo, mafuta yeah. kidogo. It's heavy, kuna high density. It's also recyclable, you can reuse it when I recycle. Iye nyi wangatu, vibu yu izi watu za yellow yellow mm -hmm. izi most of the time watu wakona. So that one's high density, yoni HDPE. Then kuna low density, uh, H LDPE, which is polythene. Ama izo wrappers za, za sugar, ama rice, yoni LDPE, it can also be recycled. Jo, though Takataka are amongst the first people who recycle, by the way. Yeah, ni rea sana kwa recycled, but they're doing it. Um, and then we have PVC, but PVC is not recyclable. PVC pipes, iso watu wana zijuanga, but as it we recyclable so far. So iso ni two waste, watu wana peleka, let's say, kwa dump site. Um, and then um, there's what watu wana ita um, pep, pep, something like pep. It's what situ na ita yogurt. <laughs> So it's the one in a cover yogurt cups and in a cover pure food, food ki kwa rap, tile uki bai chakula kwa supa. Mm -hmm. And then it has plastic chini. That plastic ni the same na ile nina na tengeneza yogurt. And that one is also recycled. It's a different type. It's softer than HDP. Oh, yeah. wow. Mm. So those are the various fractions. So at the main hub, to collect plastic zote, then we have uh, people who are working their sorters. And so the sorters uh, and waste pickers wanaanza kuzi sort apple every week. Then they can put them in different fractions. Then they are packed kwa magunia too. Then once we reach a certain tonnage, like half a ton or a ton, we take it to Takataka. Taka. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So I think um, to understand what mm -hmm. you mean is that you people collect, mm -hmm. then Takataka Taka does the recycling, Absolutely. the reducing, the yeah, reusing. Yeah. Okay. Takataka okay. Taka does the recycling. We also do the reusing uh, and reducing. Oh. Okay. So w our main aim by then is to create awareness. Like what we're doing now, and thank you guys for having me today, is any youth anywhere in Kenya, and they can just, our goal is to see plastic waste you may reduce mm. all over the country. So anybody can just do it simply. And you don't need a lot of money or a lot of connections or whatever. If you know anybody who's doing recycling, uneza collect plastic umpeleke. Instead of kui tupakwa, kwa ground ama kui, kui choma. Burning is the worst thing. As I told you, <laughs> kuna watu wa plastic smoke, <laughs> wakifia ni COVID. It's really, it's really, really bad. But many people have no idea that it can even cause lung cancer. Yeah. So what 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 inspired this vision? Um, it's interesting, really. Uh, for me, it was. I was wondering, can I create any change in this country? Mm. Um, I, um, you know, as young people, uh, as a youth, I like this because this TV is about youth. And you sit down and you wonder, okay, what can you do to make a difference? And I saw everybody doing something, you know, you go, you find people in politics, people in this area, people doing good. Like even you, you're doing a great thing, by the way. So, <laughs> so I, when I looked at this and I saw a problem and I wanted to be a solution to the problem. And I also saw that, for instance, the church has been having a very bad image in Kenya lately. And what if the church can come up and do something in the community to clean it up? And I think that can also bring, make people to understand like the church is actually um, walking the talk, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's what the young people want to see. They also want to see uh, Christians who are actually doing something in the society than just in the church and, and preaching and all that. So I wanted to do something practical also to ensure that, you know, we take care of the environment, which I think is a mandate God gave us. Yeah. Amazing. Mm -hmm. So where does... Um I'm trying to see where does tech come in. Okay. Normally when people hear tech, they get so scared. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Okay, youth, sisi wana youth atuna shida, but when you talk to the older generation of tech, they're just scared. And uh, like now with the AI coming, people are like, what is that? Remember when 5G came, they said it was the end of the world. Where? So, <laughs> so for us, we are, we are minimizing the complication. Mm -hmm. um, we use simple tech. Now, let me backpedal to, as a church already, I also lead the media department. So we use Facebook, um, social media, Facebook, uh, mostly for the church we use Facebook. Mm -hmm. And uh, we get at least 12,000 views every, every Sunday. So we create awareness through that page of the church. Um, that's just to tell people, you know, collect plastic, usichome, all that. So we use, uh, and you can use that. Anybody watching can use their, their social media to create awareness. Our hashtag is together we clean the country. So they can just go there and, you know, say together we clean the country and do something online. Um, secondly, for collections, can you imagine we're just using WhatsApp? So we have a group, and then anybody who wants a collective with the plastic, when you're on a smartphone, anatuma tu message apo. I say, I have this plastic, could you collect? Anachukua mm -hmm. photo, and then ana, we get to see the photos, and then our motorcycle guy goes and picks the plastic. It's so simple, and it makes work easier. And then um, while I want um, smartphones, they are able to connect just through the phone, SMS, with uh, our representatives in the mini hubs, and then they are able to collect. So we're using simple tech, just the normal ones, the, the social media, Facebook, mm -hmm. Instagram, TikTok, uh, WhatsApp, and that's what we're using and using the photos to create the awareness. Secondly, um, we've been thinking about in the future developing an app. And uh, this app can be able to help people to you know, know what kind of plastic waste they have, connect with all the waste collectors, that's what we really want to do in the future because we want to spread on after the pilot in Kisumu, maybe we'll come to Nairobi, then we connect with all the waste pickers. So if you're staying in one estate, Unataka waste collected, you can just go to the app, Usame, I want to pick Nani and I collect this area. It mm -hmm. connects you because our main aim is to connect the, the waste producer and those who are collecting the, the waste. Amazing. Yeah. So uh, in, in your own assessment, mm -hmm. how effective has the program been? Very. Uh, we've, we have actually collected at this particular time almost 600 kgs, more than half a ton of plastic waste. Mm -hmm. So, um, and we just started in January. So we are projecting that... This if we, year? Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> So we are projecting that in five years we should be able to collect at least 300 or 400 tons of plastic. But we can't do this alone, really, Grace. That's why I'm here today to call upon Kenyans and all the youth. It's not about us, really. It's not that we are the ones who want to collect all the plastic in the world. If you can collect plastic wherever you are and it reduces the waste, you can join the movement of just cleaning Kenya. Anybody who can do this, especially the leaders, um, research shows that many people throw waste because there are no leaders who are telling them at Nimbaya. And even the leaders are throwing the waste themselves. So we can stand up as young people and do something about it. So far we've reached 300,000 people through our social media, uh, various accounts and pages. So we're still looking forward to reach at least all Kenyans, whatever you were to that this is a problem. That's why I appreciate you guys for having me today. We are able to reach very many people today so that they know that plastic waste is dangerous. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. So what is the expansion, um, mm -hmm. what is the expansion plan, plan. look like? Um, so we have two ideas. One idea is we're thinking of um, expanding within Kisumu first. Kumbuka, if you go to the NEMA website, and you'll find that Kisumu statistic uh, of plastic waste is, is, is missing. There's no statistics. So we have Nairobi, all this. They've done research, Uku, Sana, Sana. Like in Kisumu is still behind. So we, we want to expand in Kisumu to create that statistic so that people can know, okay, at least in Afanikaivi, 
and waste is being washed to the Lake Victoria, which if you read right now, it apart already the fish production may reduce. Um, animals are eating, and when it floods, that area floods. Then plastic water in our to the lake, it's really bad in Kisumu. But we are looking also at uh, moving to Nairobi at a point, uh, mostly because Nairobi has structures. And we believe we can create more awareness in Kenya and Zima, since it's the capital city, mm. within Nairobi. And uh, that's our next phase, so we can just, from next year probably, uh, we can come move over to Nairobi and start talking to just people and connecting various waste actors together. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. What are some of the challenges you've experienced so far? Uh, being dirty, no. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> it's a joke. But, uh, but the, the, the main challenge has been, of course, uh, the resources. It mm -hmm. takes a lot mm -hmm. of resources to do this. Uh, we're still very young. We need support, whoever can in any way to support us. Um, transport system. Sometimes the roads are bad. Sometimes you don't have enough transport systems to collect. We only have one motorbike right now. And we're thinking of expanding and having maybe a truck and stuff. Um, the other thing has been resistance actually, which is strange that uh, sometimes you go and somebody has plastics, akonazo, akona the waste, high collect, they don't collect it. And then you tell them, okay, we'll collect it. Then they say, no, we don't want to give it to you until you give us money. Oh. And then you don't collect it, anaichoma. So you're wondering what's really the problem with this guy, <laughs> guy's mind. So that's the major challenge we're having now, people who are still resistant to the change. Um, but even that to us, we don't see it as a bad thing because as long as they can hold the plastic, it means they are not uh, wasting it anyway. We hope they will not burn it. Those are the challenges we have. Oof. Yeah. How many people are you working with? All right. Um, we have those we work with directly who are about 25. And then we have those we are working with indirectly. So they, they are the people who... We have like the, the, the main guys who are collecting, they are going to the neighborhoods then the mini hubs and, and hubs the other 25 and then we we look at leaders who we partner with like we have church leaders that we are able to um, they give us platforms like every month and we talk to like uh, uh, various churches they call like Kisumu it's called Kisumu clergy fellowship and so those ones I can't number all of them but I would say like they are about six or seven uh, main influential people um, uh, there's the Archbishop of our church who, who has been in many of these uh, um, shows and I think her, her name's uh, Bishop Winnie Owiti and she's also been very active in you know sharing about this issue and actually we'll be having a few more um, forums in the near future where we'll be able to share more about plastic waste. Oh, so these people are volunteers or are they on payroll? The ones we're working with are volunteers. Yeah, the they 25 just, plus yes, the they're just volunteers. They just say, okay, we're just going to help and see how we can, we can come around this. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So can I volunteer? <laughs> you can volunteer even <laughs> right. I think you're volunteering already. Just create awareness. That's okay. the, mo the, the most important thing. Okay. What work you do, then it's uh, fine. So how we can help every one of us yeah. is that tell, tell a friend to tell a friend Absolutely. to tell a friend to, to tell clean a friend. the country to clean the country. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Together we can clean the country. Amazing. Yeah. Unfortunately, this conversation has to come to an end. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'd want you to probably give us a parting shot. Yes, I just want to tell everybody watching that you can be a part of this. You're not too small to create a change. And uh, just by picking the small plastic you have at home, together we can clean the country of Kenya. God bless you. Social media. Tommy Lee Osborne Witty. <laughs> <laughs> the one for your PI. For the Church Vosh Church International. Okay. Yeah. Sour, sour. Thank right. you so much for coming. Thank yeah. you for the talk. Thank you Thank for, you for your me. time. Yeah. It means a lot. Yes, it's a pleasure to meet you all. That was Tommy Lee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tommy Lee, he has an interesting mm -hmm. name. Talking to us about mergers, recycling, mm -hmm. reusing, and reducing waste. So, in case Uko Hapo Home, now, una tupa tupa tuta kataka mm -hmm. vile unataka. Please be a good steward of the yeah. environment. Mm -hmm. But then again, do not touch the dial. Val is coming back with more.